Are you looking for a trailer that's rough and rugged on the outside, yet sleek and sexy on the inside? We recently met with Black Series who were super excited to show us the HQ 15. Relevant, relatable, and reliable information from full-time RVers. Hey everybody, Jim Buck with Black Series. And so today, like you said, we are looking at the HQ 15. So as we turn, as we look at the unit, one of the key features that really draws a lot of people's attention is the outside structure. This is aluminum diamond plate with a European cut finish. And then the upper portion of our unit is made of an aluminum composite. So you have a sheet of aluminum, a composite material, and then another sheet of aluminum. So that is giving us our strength. It's helping with our R factor for insulation. Um, and that's mounted up against an aluminum frame. Our frames are welded aluminum, so it's not like a wood frame. There's no wood in the frame. It's all solid. It's meant to be solid for our off-road capacity. And so within the framing, we also have an expanded foam or expanded polystyrene, uh, which helps along with our uh, insulation factor. Again, an R16 insulation factor. So while it doesn't say, yes, it is a, a four season unit, really we're getting to a four season type of, of weather. Because one of the other factors, one of the other things we are using aside is a heater unit that's propane based, propane powered uh, heater unit that is a 16,000 BTU heater. So 16,000 BTUs, just to kind of give you an idea, is designed to heat a master bedroom in a home. So we're not in a home, we're in our HQ15. And that goes for all of our units. So really, the factor we're getting for heat is really intense, it's really up there, okay? So as we go along here, we look right here, we have a dual pane window. So it's a European style, dual pane window. Again, this is going to help with our R factor, okay? Now I'm gonna go inside real quick, I'm gonna open up the window so I can kind of show you some of the features of it. But it does ratchet. So it'll ratchet open, and it'll hold in place. Now, one of the nice features about this is if you have a trailer and it's got a screen on it, like they all do, you really don't feel like you're getting airflow through your unit. Well, that's because screens are really restrictive. You got all these teeny tiny little holes you gotta try to get air through. And usually the only time you feel air flowing through is when you open up a door and maybe open up um, like an emergency window. Well, with our units, as soon as you open this up, and we have large windows in the front you can see here, you really get your airflow through. Now, if you are in an area where you have bugs, you can fix that. We have a bug screen, okay? It raises up, and if at nighttime you want privacy, we got a privacy screen. So we have the two different levels of screens, but if you're not looking to have privacy, or if you're not dealing with bugs, you have a nice wide open window to really get the airflow through, which is really helpful. The first thing you see is a nice big queen size bed. And as you start really kind of looking around and realizing what you're looking at, we have a really lot of nice, nice high shine, high quality veneer cabinets. These are not plastic. They are not uh, 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 paper. They're not stickers. They're not anything other than actual wood. Um, which is one of the really nice features, but because of the high gloss, it makes it really easy to clean up. In the evening hours, you hit the little light switch here for our reading lights, turn on the little blue ambient lights, and you kind of get like a whole little feeling, just this nice calming factor. And you can kind of see how it's accented really beautifully coming off of this high gloss cabinet. So just, I just imagine you know, being in the nighttime, just kind of, I just need to relax, calm down a little bit before bedtime. You know, turn on these LED lights with the little blues, and it just gives this, this great little ambiance right before going to bed. One of my cool features that I like. I'm gonna turn on your lights back here. Now, one of the other things that we also have with our switches, we have one main switch that turns off all of the, all of the, uh, the power from the batteries. You have the switch that turns on all the lights in here, and then you have uh, two rocker switches that also turn on your floodlights outside. You blow a fuse, then you gotta bust out the book, you gotta look, you gotta try to figure out which one it is, then get, you know, and it's usually mounted underneath the refrigerator. Our, fuse, our, our breakers, is what we're using, are up nice and high, you can see it, they're labeled so you can read them, and then you can just push them very quickly to reset them and find out which one is blown. Um, you have the, your readouts for your water, you got your drinking water, your general water, your gray and your black tanks, and then you have your electrical readout for what's going on with your solar panels. So we do have 
two water tanks in all of our H2 models. Um, we have a 50 gallon general water tank and that general water tank is going to run your sink, it's going to run your toilet, it's going to run your shower and then we have a 16 gallon drinking water tank. And now the drinking water tank, that's a secondary pump, so we have two water pumps, and that's gonna draw the pump up, excuse me, draw the water up, um, through a triple filtration system. So it's just like a filtration system you would have in your home, only it's in our Black Series camper. And so the water comes up, it goes through the triple filter system, and then this valve right here, so you use this valve to wash your hands and stuff, and then you use this valve right here to get your drinking water. Okay, so it's one of the nice features. So let's say you're out in the outback area, you belly up to a stream, stream looks safe, so you pull on your water, so you fill both your tanks with that water, but you're still not 100% sure, so what you're going to do is use your filtration system. Now, we're always making changes as we're going through our units. Um, we don't just make just big changes, we're making little changes here and there all over the place. Whenever we come across an issue or something that, you know, people say, hey, this can be fixed or that can be fixed or there's an issue with this, we'll make those fixes. And so one of the new fixes that we just did is a brand new shower door. So on our older models or earlier models, it had a handle here, you pull it open and it accordions out like this and blocks off your cabinets. So now we have this brand new accordion style door like this that actually seals with a magnet completely. So it takes up way less room, um, is very easy to operate. It's not blocking any cabinetry right here. And then when you're done in your shower, it slides right back into space. Now the nice feature about the HQ15 is it's not a wet bath. It has a, a separate uh, you know, shower with toilet, um, but it still has that nice big shower feature that you find in the HQ19. It's that nice big shower that even I can fit into. I can move around, I can do my things, I can wash, I can stretch, do whatever I need to do, um, but there's plenty of room in there to do that, okay? Um, there's also a pocket door here. There's a little pocket door that slides out. Um, so that way you have your privacy back here with the toilet or with the shower. Um, and then you have your sink. And one of the nice things, you don't hear that on most trailers. Most trailers use a plastic sink and plastic type of you know faucets and appliances, stuff like that. You know, you're gonna find these appliances, this sink, uh, this faucet, you're gonna find those in like Home Depots and Lowe's and stuff like that. Some of the other stuff you find in some of the other trailers, you're not gonna find that. It's all plastic stuff. You gotta go to a, uh, a carrier, a parts place, an RV parts place to find those parts. Our stuff you can find in hardware stores. Um, and then you have, again, more cabinetry and more lighting and stuff back here. Um, again, really cool, really key features. Um, now, another feature we have above you here is gonna be your air conditioner. Now, our air conditioner is not gonna function using the batteries or the inverter. You have to be plugged into a shoreline or a generator. Um, but our air conditioner is actually a dual role. So you have air conditioning and heaters, okay? And so, again, you're gonna have to be plugged into a, a landline or a, a generator to get that to function, to work. But again, you are gonna have your floor heater, your 16,000 BTU floor heater to be able to heat up this unit, okay? Now, another feature we have, we have our dinette right here. Um, our dinette does break down into a bed. Um, and so it's about two and a half foot wide by uh, about five foot, two inches long is gonna be the length for it. Uh, so not gonna be a giant person, and obviously it's gonna be more of a kid. But one of the really kind of neat features about our dinette is in most trailers and stuff, they have a pull-out drawer. Well, we didn't go with a pull-out drawer because underneath our seat, we have two AGM batteries, 100 amp hours a piece, okay? And then under the other bench, we have our 2000 watt inverter. They put in a leg rest. So if you're sitting sideways, instead of having your legs dangling down uncomfortably, which is always uncomfortable for me, you have a leg rest. So that way it's just kind of a cool little different feature that you don't normally find in most RVs and trailers. So we do have a refrigerator here. It's just a little one, um, but we have a refrigerator. We can fit a few things in there. Um, keep, you know, uh, food that's important, uh, you know, cool. We have locking cabinets. So that way, when you open up the door, you're not playing traveler's roulette. What's on the floor when we get there, right? And so you push the center button and it raises up very easily, okay? But again, you close it and it's closed nice and tight. We have an HD antenna. Um, we even have ports in one of the cabinets up there so you can plug in and watch exterior, like if you plug in a camera or another video source, you can watch things um, you know, on your TV system as well. 
Um, one of the other really nice, really key features is our leather. This is a marine grade faux leather. Um, and they have this beautiful design here. You can see it right here. This beautiful little kind of like diamond shaped design. And we use this in another key factor in another key area in the headboard above the bed. Um, and I love it. It's a beautiful feature. We got our radio. We have a radio with speakers internal and external. Um, we have our three burner stove right here. So you can cook inside, but again, we are camping. And where should you be cooking when you're camping? Outside. We're talking about the outdoor kitchen. Remember, like I said, yeah, we have a three burner stove inside, but we don't want to be cooking inside. We're in nature. We're outside. Get out. Experience it. So here in our cabinet, one of our cabinets here, is our kitchen. Okay? And so this just very easily pulls out, slides out, stops in place. Now, one of the best features of this thing, this is the part that everybody loves, is the nice big prep table. You open this thing up, here's your prep table. We've got a nice big working area to put your cutting boards so that way you can clean your fish or clean whatever it is that you're out hunting. Again, you have your three burner stove out here. You have a sink with a tilt up faucet. So this is gonna tilt up just like this, okay? And so then what you do is you're gonna plug in your appliances, you're gonna plug in your hose, your gas line, and your water line, and it plugs in right underneath here with all quick connects. Um, the drain for this, it's a gravity drain, so there's a hose that will pull out from underneath. So you take a bucket, you toss a bucket underneath there, you catch all of your runoff, that's all that's coming out. Um, you're underneath your cover, your awning, so <laughs> even if there's like a light rain, you still be out here cooking. Our solar panels up on the roof, 150 watts a piece, 300 watts total. Our screen, will close over and unlike most screen doors ours has a grid all the way down okay now most screen doors will attach right in the center okay it seems secure but then when you look at the top and the bottom it's not very secure so if you have little kids um, or if you have a dog if you ever have a dog you go through a screen on your on your your screen door in the trailer and it obviously never works and so we actually have three points of contact with ours um, when you secure it, when you lock it. So when you close it and you set it, oops, you set it, now it's secured and locked. And if you also notice, the lock is actually on the screen. It's not on the door. So if you wanted to lock the screen and leave the door open, you could do so. So again, I've been talking about little changes here and there uh, that we're imp always improving on, okay? And so one of the key features that we've improved upon and that people are asking for is our winter package. And so we're wrapping pipes um, to help with winterizing. Um, but the other feature we're using, uh, if people are requesting it, is we're wrapping the tanks with a thermal blanket. So what we started including is a controller switch right here. Um, and so when you have your heated blanket, the control would be right here, that would be your on, your off, and you would give you your temperature right there for what your tanks are at. Um, our gray tank and our black tank are both 26 gallon tanks. So you got 26 and 26. This is just a little fold down table. So it unlocks, this will fold down. Um, it's a little simple table, you can set some drinks on it, set a crock pot on it, set a TV on it. Uh, if you wanna do some more prep work for your food, you can do some prep on it with food or whatever. Um, but it's just a little minor table and there's a couple plugs. There's a 12 volt DC plug here. And then there's a GFCI plug here too. So this one only operate when you're plugged into a generator or plugged into a, a shoreline or something. One of the features that we have on our units to help protect the edges of your unit is our rock guards. And so we have these large bars that are mounted at the base. So that way, if you're going down in a deep area or you're coming back up and that base, that bottom just wants to bottom out, you're gonna be hitting your rock guard. So it's gonna protect your edge of your unit right here. So that way you're not tearing it up. Now, are they gonna fail? Is the brackets gonna fail? Possibly, but at least you're failing on this and you're not failing on the edge right here. So you're gonna save yourself. Same thing with the bash guards. Our tanks, our gray and our black tanks are 26 gallon tanks. They are protected with a bash guard. Um, it, it's not the heaviest duty. It's not the largest uh, rock guard you're gonna find but it does give you a level of protection. It's not an exposed tank, it's covered. So it'll give you some level of protection, a little bit better than nothing, okay? Um, we have our black water tank flush. So when you're dumping your black tank, you put the hose in here, fill it with water, and that allows you to flush it out. Um, as you come around the back, um, we have our spare tire rack, um, and we have two full-size spare tires. All of our units have full-size tires. So as we come around here, 
I'm going to show you these tires. These are Cooper Discoverer LT tires. These are not trailer tires. These are light truck tires. I actually have these tires on my truck. I have a Chevy Silverado, and these tires were on that truck. They got a nice, big, deep tread to it. Again, light truck tires. So when you're going down the road, you don't have to worry about the side, the, the skinny sidewalls of your trailer tires because you have a nice, big, beefy, regular LT tire. Now, one of the features that we have on this unit, the HQ15, that we don't have with the other ones on this rack is we have the wood rack. So you can put extra wood or extra storage, whatever you need to put into it. And this is where your jerry cans would go. So if you wanted to carry either extra water or extra gas, you have uh, these brackets that will hold your five-gallon jerry cans back here. Um, as we're going along, again, we got more bars. We have another 12-volt DC plug out here. Um, we have an exterior shower. Uh, so if you want to be out here, rinse off, not walk in and get all dirty. Um, here's your water fill your, for your drinking water and your general water. Um, your heater, there is a uh, six-gallon Atwood uh, propane-based heater. So you got your hot water. Um, you have your shoreline plug right here, 30 amp shoreline service. Um, and then here's the backside of uh, your storage. So um, the backside of this is actually where the kitchen slides in. So the, slide, the kitchen's on this one, and then this is your pass-through storage. Now as we come around to the front too, we have a couple of cabinets. Um, we have some storage cabinets up here. Um, so we have some room for storage in this cabinet. Um, and most of the other units, this is actually where the brackets go for storing the fuel cans. Uh, but in this case, because it's on the rear, we have this open for storage. Um, and then the other side over here is going to be your propane tank. And so, well, two propane tanks. They got number two, number 30 tanks. Um, you can actually get the taller ones in there. The, the, or the, these are the 20s, sorry. These are the 20s. You can fit like the 30s in there. You got about three foot worth of clearance from the bottom to about here where it starts curving in. So if you want to put in the taller tanks, you might have to manipulate a little bit, but you can fit a taller tank in here if you wish to, okay? Now, one of the other features, a couple other features that we have um, that allow us to take our units off-road is our articulating hitch. So we have our hitch and we use like a Y it's a Y connector that will attach, it'll slide over. It looks like a claw, kind of like a Lego claw. So this pin pulls out, this pulls out, this will slide over, hook in with the pin. And then on your receiver where you normally have a ball, you would take that ball off and this is what would bolt in place where the ball would normally go. It'll slide over, the pin will go through, hold it. And so you have your dips and valleys. So when you're going in your dips and valleys, and then this entire knuckle, this whole piece, will rotate 360 degrees. So while you're driving down the road and you've got alternating backs back and forth, now you have your twisting and torque, okay? Um, another odd thing that we use is an Anderson plug. The Anderson plug is a 50 amp plug. And so if you want to get a, uh, a portable um, uh, solar panel, we, we actually have portable solar panels. There are another extra 120 watts that would just plug directly right into this. Because again, our batteries are located inside, so we wouldn't be able to uh, hook directly into our battery because we're not using it here on the tongue. And then you see right here, we have a, an actual mechanical brake as well, which is really convenient. It's really nice um, when you're trying to move the unit around, when you're trying to just get it unhooked from your vehicle, you can just set your brake real quick. You don't leave it like that. You do want to still utilize wheel chocks, but at least this gives you a nice little easy, hey, you know, when you're trying to hook it up because this does roll, you can play with the brake a little bit and get it to release and get it hooked up to your vehicle. And then we also have our jockey wheel, nice heavy duty jockey wheel for raising the vehicle up and down, um, or it's got wheels on it. So like I said, you can kind of, you know, manipulate it and push it with your knee and get it to line up where you need to, to hook it up to your vehicle. I think it's one of the easiest ways to hook up to a car. So as we come back around, we got our, our red bars again. Um, we have a storage compartment. Um, here, let me push this out of the way. I'll show you a storage compartment. So we have storage, pass-through storage. But to finish up, I'm going to go ahead and put the kitchen back away, just so you can see how it goes right back in. So just like we did when we put it in, or brought it out, we're going to put it back in until it clicks in place and you close up your door. So I think that just about covers it for the HQ15. Um, hopefully I answered any questions you might have. Hopefully I, I created some interest in you. Um, but one, one thing I'd also like to mention real quick too, is we're actually, we're looking for Canadian dealerships. 
I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope I answered your questions. Uh, my name is Jim Buck with Black Trees Camper. Hope everyone is having a great day. Take care of yourself, everyone.